on the I.O. So, Laura, let's talk a little bit more about this announcement. Uh, even a company that's $97 billion in revenue can't mm. do it all. So I want to talk a little bit about what's missing. Big, Rick just mentioned you know, big data. How about data reduction? That's something that I, I, I didn't hear you know, strongly in this announcement, although they do a lot, obviously, with things like thin provisioning or right. what they call HDP, Hitachi Dynamic Provisioning. Do you think that's uh, there's an opportunity there, there's upside there for these guys? Yeah, absolutely, and I'm, I'm sure they have that in their strategy or in their plans, but storage optimization technologies at large are really kind of uh, a critical component to storage architecture and purchasing decisions for customers. Uh, because customers are trying to do more with less, right? and trying to scale their storage while keeping their, their administration in check. Um, their budgets aren't scaling with the same level of capacity growth. So optimization has to be, play a key role. Deduplication is an area where we see, you know, we just saw it you know, really um, proliferate in the backup space, backup data, archive data, and now we're starting to see it move more into the, the primary data you know, on the file side in particular. Um, so there's certainly an area of opportunity, but it's not, uh, it's not, dedupe isn't the silver bullet. It's in conjunction or in concert with other optimization technologies, thin provisioning, space efficient snapshots, uh, compression technologies. And uh, so, yeah, I think that's certainly an area of opportunity or future expansion. So let's talk about that a little bit more. It really isn't part of this announcement today, but it's an interesting topic. Yeah. I know you have a perspective on it. I'd yeah. be interested in your point of view. I'm sure our listeners would like that. Um, so what does Hitachi do there? Do they partner with like a Falcon store? Mm -hmm. I saw yeah. in, in here, that's, they're really showing a VTL, but that's a possibility. Do they develop their own? Do they, we mm -hmm. had Jack Domain on. It, it did, I didn't get the sense that they were going to go out and make a, you know, a bunch of acquisitions necessarily, but you know, or do they, do they just roll, roll their own in-house? Is it yeah. R&D? Are they, are they late? Are they too late? Uh, I don't think they're too late. Um, they're certainly later than others. But um, you know, if you look at statistics, our, our research shows that an average of between you know 30 and 34 percent of of all the total disk storage capacity on the floor is allocated for some kind of backup and recovery function. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a lot of data that continues, right? That, that continues to grow and backup is highly redundant. So it's certainly an area of target for DDU. Um, they have a partner. They have a partnership with Falcon Store around uh, deduplication with the Falcon Store V. Um, they've also had other relationships.